rise and shine it's merlin collects time and today i'm going to show you how to submit tight photos to psa all right everyone my name is merlin and today i'm going to show you how to submit original or authentic photos to psa they're about the only company grading company that will um accept submissions of original vintage authentic photos uh the ones you see here this one of friends it's a type one photo from the 90s and it is slabbed as you can see here look here it says Type one photo from NBC. And this one is the Shat, the Shatner as Captain Kurt. Not only is this a type one from 1966 from Star Trek, it also has an autograph. And you can do both dual photo and autograph authentications, as you can see here, because it says it's a type one and it's also got an autograph of a nine. So it is authentic right there on the sweet spot. And then you see all the stuff on the back. This is what they call the DNA, folks. See all the stamps on there. Uh, NBC for the Friends one has it on the back here. So that's kind of how I know if these are type ones and everything. So these are the, uh, I'm going to show you the photos that I'm going to submit to uh day for um for the psa so the first one i don't know if this is a type one or three i don't care i know this is probably vintage i had one from 2004 this is 2003 this is the weirdest thing for a, a harry potter this is daniel radcliffe from 2003 and if you see on the back here the one that i have of uh, the prisoner of azkaban of daniel radcliffe as harry potter has the same exact sticker right there and it was the only one of the five that I sent in that got authenticated a type one original photo. Type one photos are the only ones that will be classified as an original vintage photo, meaning it is made within two years of that photo taken off the original negative. Type two is after two years. Type three comes from a, um, a reprint negative or a publicity photo, but it also has to be made within two years. That's how I know type one and three are both going to be classified as vintage when you look at it in your account when the um, grades come up or authentications come up. Um, even though it has this kind of writing on here, I'm still going to submit it, take a risk. This is a color photo, which I believe is a type one. I had the black and white version of the Jackson family from 1977 off CBS. There's Michael right there, and there's uh, Janet right there. But I had the black and white one, which sold, I think, on Heritage for around like six, $700. I've got this cool one of an atomic bomb. It's pretty cool looking. I'm not sure. That's why I'm only going to send in one of them, because I have two. If you're not sure about the photos and you've got more than one, Folks only submit one of them at first as the guinea pig. If these aren't authentic photos or type one, you'll still get charged $50 for the service charge, just like they do autographs. But if it's real, they'll slab it. This comes back at type one, then I'll, I'll send that one back in as well. This is definitely a type one. Oh, this is a type one. The only thing I was worried about about this one, sorry, I'm going to go back to this one. It just doesn't have enough um, DNA, it doesn't have really any DNA on the back, but photo stock seems very authentic. This is a, uh, from the Muppet movie, 1979. It's Kermie and Fozzie Bear, Jim Henson. I think uh, Ron Howard has a Jim Henson documentary out right now, so this is a perfect time. You see all the DNA on there, which I know it's a type one. This is... It's definitely a type three, this publicity photo of the Simpsons, but it is vintage. This one is from 89 or 90. Slab this one anyway. You see the DNA on the back. And then lastly, I've got, uh, this is a Polaroid, polar color snapshot that they used back in the 70s to test the photos before they actually did the real thing using black and white film and color film. And these were the ones that were used for like TV Guide, People Magazine, for all the publications. 
And this one's of Mork and Mindy, Robin Williams, Pan Dauber. And I know this one has the the photographer's uh, name. He wrote it on the back, Jim Britt, which you can see here. I've already got this one slapped. See the same one, Jim Britt. And this is Three's Company. And it says Cast the Three's Company, Polar, Polar Color 2, Jim Britt from the 1970s. So knowing that, I'm going to send this one in as well. What materials do you need? This is just like if you were submitting cards to PSA, BGS, SGC, CGC, um, TAG, I don't know, whatever service of grading cards. So treat these photos. Most of the photos, except for this one, are 8 by 10 photos. So what I use, I use... 8 by 10 photo top loaders, get 25. You can buy these on Amazon or eBay or go to the BCW website. I will use, I'll put the links in the description below. Here is 8 by 10 sleeves. So these are kind of like if you use a penny sleeve for your cards, this is what you put it in. So these are the soft ones. You use the top loader, which is basically this. This is the top loader, so that's the hard one. So it doesn't get crunched up and fold over and things like that. Um, but you can find these on eBay or Amazon. Again, I'll have the links below. And sometimes photos are a little bigger, maybe a half an inch. You can also get them eight and a half by 11. These are the soft sleeves, or you can buy a top loader. There's also, I think, top loaders that are nine by 12, penny sleeves that are nine by 12. And I think that's the biggest that they'll encapsulate PSA will. So here's all the materials. It's gonna cost almost $100. Cost $50 to get it authenticated, 30 to slab, then you figure out service charges, taxes, shipping and handling. I think I sent in one photo once and it cost me a total of $109 just for one photo to get back. You're probably gonna leave a lot of comments, highway robbery, robbery what a rip off, but that's the only service that um has this so might as well do it and um if you know you're gonna make some money off of it but just don't go and just send in a bunch of crap in there don't send a bowl bowl rookie photo um or just stupid things you want things that have eye appeal iconic shots things that you know you will make money on so check out ebay golden auctions heritage prestige rea See how photos do on there. See what are the highest sales. And that's pretty much what you should be looking for if you want to resell type photos. And uh, this one is just pretty much a type three one because I can tell by the, the published one. This is in a wet stamp. And I like these. These are eight by 10, um, like one touches, just like you have a one touch for cards. And these cost anywhere for about, um, about, 10 to $20. Ultra Pro, BWCW does them. I, these are the cheapest ones I've found. First choice, these are 8 by 10 magnetic holders. I think these were like 10 to $15 each. I got these off Amazon, Amazon Prime. I mean, you can't really tell the difference between this and the, the $25 Ultra Pro ones, which is a, a freaking ripoff. For $10, 10 $12 for this one, it's pretty good. and. It looks nice in it. It looks more expensive. And I sell um, photos better with those in them. So you see that. And then let's go to services and prices. If you look here, you'll see cards, autographs, tickets, packs of cards, Funkos, photo matching memorabilia, photographs, and additional service. So look at the Babe Ruth one here. Let's go to photographs. Click on it. Authentication, photo, and all the, so, oh, there's a dual here. There's a submission form for dual. This is only PDF form to submit for photos. They don't do it like the cards where you can do it online and print it up. You've got to download the PDF, fill this out, then print it out and send it in with your photos to PSA. Let's just download it. Let's Save it to downloads, PSA, there we go. That's it. And now, so let's do the submission form. Click on it. Let's go back here. Let's, oh, let's present. Share screen. 
Let's go to uh, original photograph. So here is the, the PDF for the form. I'm going to save it on my uh, desktop. Save it. There we go. And now we're all set. And now let's get to work, shall we? I'm going to show you all how to do this. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do the uh, the Simpsons one, and I'm going to fill it out. Hit entertainment, 1989. Authentication price will be $50. Declared value, declared value be $50. And then I'll do the next one, which is I'm going to do the Muppet movie. With Kermie and Fozzie from 1979, see the DNA. So I'm going to list that as um, movies. I'm going to put that 1979 Muppet movie. And then I'm going to put values $50. And then next will be the thing Radcliffe from Harry Potter. I'm going to classify this as, again, movies. This is going to be um, 2003, Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe, and I'll put the name Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And so that'd be, I'm going to write down Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. That's $50 authentication price, and the value of this photo cost me like $100. Next will be the uh, color. Type one photo of the Jackson family. So that is going to be, uh, I'll put that music and TV. And that's from 1977. But Michael Jackson. And that's going to be $50. And the value of this one was like, again, $100. If you see that, I'll do the screenshot. Then lastly, this atomic bomb it has no DNA, so I don't know when the exact date of it is. It does have a little stamp. I know this bikini atoll, so that's the bikini atoll one. That's Baker Day, so that makes it 1946. So I'm put that as history for the category. Bikini atoll, Baker Day was 1946, and uh, put atomic bomb, Baker Day. And the authentication price will be 50 And the value of this photo was $100. So I don't have anything really expensive. I will show you different pricing. So if you got really expensive stuff, but to be honest with you, all my stuff is below like $500. I don't, have, I don't think I bought one photo yet over $500. $100, $200 is like the most I found. And here finally is this Polaroid snapshot from Mork and Mindy, Pam Dalbert, and the famous Robin Williams. So that doesn't have any uh, wet stamp dates on there or anything. I'm going to put uh, entertainment uh, 1970s. There's no date. And this will be uh, Mork and uh, Mindy, Robin Williams, people don't know. Again, that's uh, $50. And then the photo cost me $100. And then if you have a customer ID, look right here, look there, you'll see it says, uh, put your customer ID that you got from PSA, um, which is your account. I'm not going to show you mine. And then total number of items included in this package is six. So the total number is six. Um, subtotal, six times five is three hundred. And then... Um, Type in this stuff, so 50, 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, $500 total, okay? And then you gotta fill out the next things. It says tier, oh gosh, I can't, oh, that's terrible. Uh, tier one, oh my God, it's gone up to 60 freaking dollars now, $60. I thought it was 50. I've got to change it now. Oh, it's gone up to 60 now. Jesus Christ almighty. So I'll have to change it. I'll do it later. This is new to me. They've gone up the authentication price. Maybe it's my fault. It's up to 60 now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six times 
sixty. What's that? Three hundred and sixty dollars. What a rip off! Sixty times six equals yep three sixty. Encapsulation reholder price. There are six of those times thirty. That's one hundred and eighty dollars. Return shipping. Domestic return shipping. I'm gonna check that here. And then I want um, I want two day shipping. So I got that checked right there. Two day checked. And then they charge you a five dollar handling fee. So the total charges three hundred and sixty plus one eighty plus five dollars. Oh, oh, you got to check the um, page or domestic return on page three so here it is domestic this is page three so the total was um of my photo is five hundred dollars five hundred dollars twenty so twenty four dollars total of the shipping and handling where to put that twenty four so let's add that so three hundred sixty plus hundred eighty for encapsulation 24 for the shipping, $5 for the service charge. Total charges, $560 freaking $9. Total charges, $569. Then method of payment, we'll do a credit card. I'll put my name on here and I'll put all that stuff which you can't see, so you can't submit. There's all kinds of other stuff. I will print this out, okay? So we print it out. So let me print this out, and I'll show you how to package this stuff next. So check me out on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Please make sure you follow me, subscribe to me, hit that damn bell button, leave some comments. That's the worst. No one leaves me any damn comments. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Good Lord, I am spitting away. I'm a spitter spitter. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about these videos. I'm going to try to make you some more how-to videos on how to submit. This is just one. I think I'm going to do a next one on how to submit uh, music memorabilia. I'm going to do another one on even how to submit cards. Because some people don't even know how to do that. They feel intimidated. I'm going to hold your hand and I'll teach you how to submit for authentication and for grading to different companies. So this is my start, my first one, how to submit type photos to PSA. All right, everyone, I wanna show you now how to um, print a shipping label to the proper place at the uh, PSA DNA photo submission place. They are not in Orange County in California like the cards are. They're actually in New Jersey. They have a totally um, different shipping address. So if you see right here, you'll see um, all the stuff. Let's go to the uh, photographs here. Um, submission price shipping. Is it on shipping charges? No. Is it packaging guidelines? Yes. Package your uh, shipment here. As you can see, um, place your photograph in the top loader, protective sleeve. Checked. We've done that. Place your photograph in between two slightly larger pieces of cardboard for added protection. Don't need that. Um, we'll just bubble wrap it as you can see what I did there. Place photograph flat in a box and add packaging materials such as bubble wrap. And then here is the, um, the shipping location. So here it is. It says collectors, 210 Hudson Street, second floor, Jersey City, uh, blah, blah, blah. There's the zip code. Um, so there it is. There's the UPS, um, which I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, the flat rate. I'm going to use medium flat rate. The collector's universe. I'm going to click and ship. Click and ship. There it is. Book there. Pick. So there we go. Use this address. There we are. Put my address in there. You can send me the tracking notifications, please. I want all updates so I know it's there. And then here is where I put in, um, I don't know why they defer it to my address again. I'm going to ship to myself. So all I'll do is just copy and paste. I'll put the company collectors. Um, then I just copy and paste the street address. And then the city is, was it Jersey? 
Jersey City in New Jersey. Then I'm going to copy and paste the zip code just to make sure I get it right. Copy it here. Um, and then I, it doesn't have like a submission number or anything like that. So I put, I'm just going to put six. So I'm going to put the, today's uh, date, which is 6 12 24 underscore and then six. So I know. So I'm put that's usually I put my reference number. I'll put that today's date underscore with how many photos I gave them. So I'm going to save that to the address book. Um, I'm going to ship flat rate, value packages 500. Are the shipping dangerous, hazardous? No. Medium flat rate 1840. I'm not going to share it. I care less. Signature confirmation. Do not allow signature, electronic signature for 350 because I want to make sure they do it. I'm going to add the cart, PayPal, accept to continue, label. Check that here. Print label. Make sure there it is. The printing label. Oh, no. I want to print it. I don't want to save as PDF. Let's print it. So there we go. Voila. So let's go and package our stuff. Let's get ready. So here's an 8 by 10 photo. Like I said, this is a type 3, but it's still cool because it has the dates on here. So you know it's vintage. I'm just using an old recycled uh, 8 by 10 soft sleeve. So ignore that and put the sleeve in here. There we go. And then I get the top loader. which is kind of like, you know, what we use for the um, cards, but there's an eight by 10 top loader and they do have bigger ones, eight and a half by 11. So there you go. That one's the same here. I did the, the same one here and the Jacksons. And then I'll do, uh, I'm just using a recycled one here that I used before that I got back from PSA. And a lot of times they don't give them back to you. So if you do get one back, just recycle it because they'll put stickers on and ruin them. And these things cost money. So there we go. Put Daniel Radcliffe in there. There we go. And then this one I just put in a um, semi rigid card holder. And then I'll just wrap it up with this. I now have my uh, shipping label right here, right here, my shipping label. I've filled out my form with the pictures. Here are my, um, oh, here's the form. Make sure you got it all here. And then I've got my six photos right here, if you want. I've got my medium flat rate USPS box. I just paid one fee and I'll slap that shipping label on there. I've got my bubble wrap and I've got my shipping tape. Here it is, one, two, three, four, five, and then this little one, six, I'll put that on here. I'll put that right there. And then what I'll do, I will prepare this. I'll get this box ready. And I like to um, double tape it so in case it comes apart, it doesn't fall out and end up somewhere in um, the Midwest, as you can see here, just tape it down. Let's put that aside and I'll put my packaging aside. I'll get this ready. Here's the bubble wrap. You can order this on Amazon. I went to got a big roll of this at Staples because Staples is only right down the street from me. So I'll do this first and I'll just do it like this. And I'll do it like that. Let's see. I like to flip it over first a couple of times. Fits in perfect. So I like to just wrap it around a couple of times. There we go. Well, maybe one more for good measure. And this is perforated. Um, I got my tape. So there we go. I like to tape it on the sides here. I mean, you don't really have to worry about these photos getting broken or ripped or torn because they're already in top loaders and sleeves and the bubble wrap here, right? There we go. It fits in there. So look, I like to pat it just a little on the bottom there so it doesn't move around. 
So get two of these sheets of bubble wrap. I'll put it at the bottom there. Then I'll put this in here. And then I might get two more of these and throw around just to give it a, some cushioning on the side so it doesn't flip flop everywhere. So there we go. There we go. Even though this has tape on it, I still like to um, use the packaging tape. And here we go. And sideways. All righty. And then lick it before I stick it. Instead of bring my scissors. There we go. Here is the USPS packaging. There we go. And I'll just tape it down. And voila, there we go. That is it, everyone. This is ready to go. Six photos. Turnaround time should be 30 days. So I should get this back before the National Convention. All right, everyone, I hope you learned about how to submit type photos to PSA. Hope you learned something from me. Make sure you subscribe to Merlin Collects, formerly known as Merle World Cards, but you know it's Merlin. And leave me some comments. Message me on um, IG if you want to know more. If you're uh, wanting to submit and you've got more questions, do not be afraid to send me a DM and IG at Merle World Cards and ask me some questions, leave some comments below. I hope you've got some cool photos to submit um, to PSA. And if you do and you've got those submitted and you've got some cool stuff, please share with me or post it on IG or TikTok and tag me. Let me know because it'll make me just feel so good inside. I'll get so warm and fuzzy, like they say in my tum tum, to know that you also got into type one photos. You've scored some precious gems. So please share with me and the photo community and also the collectible community. Let us know, uh, subscribe, hit the bell button, follow me, do whatever you can. And most importantly, just have a good time with it. And this is Merlin for uh, Merlin Collects. See y'all later. Bye-bye. There's a podcast called Between Two Slabs. They consume mass media. It seems so sad. It's the great curator and Merlin. 